When it comes to the pH of substances, there are four classifications. And it depends on the oxides and what they are formed from. So the first one is pretty straightforward. If you have something with a pH of 7, we say it is a neutral substance. Neutral substances don't react with acids and they don't react with bases. Remember, acids have a pH less than 7 and contain hydrogen ions, they're proton donors, and bases uh, have a pH higher than 7 and are proton acceptors. And uh, they're, if they're soluble in water, they are what we call alkalis. So, our first classification is neutral substances. That is things like salts. Salts are completely neutral substances. They don't react to produce anything with acids or with bases. Now, our next classification is uh, metal oxides. If you take a metal like magnesium uh, and you burn it in air, sodium, iron, uh, you react it with oxygen, you make an oxide. And metal oxides are solids at room temperature. They are only partially soluble, not really very soluble at all, but a little bit will dissolve. And if you do dissolve them in water, they are bases. Which means if you're using a universal indicator, they'll go blue or purple. Non-metals, when you react those with oxygen, you end up with an oxide, such as sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, uh, nitrous oxides. Non-metal oxides are gases at room temperature. They're also very soluble in water. And when you dissolve them in water, they lower the pH. They create an acidic oxide. Now, neutral substances, no reaction with acids or with bases. Metals create basic oxides. Basic substances will react with acids. Acids they react with bases. There's another classification though, and some examples are aluminium oxide and zinc oxide, and they are what we call amphoteric substances. And an amphoteric substance is something that will neutralize both an acid and a base. So we can classify all these substances in terms of pH as basic, reacts with acid, acid, reacts with bases, neutral, doesn't react with acids or bases, and amphoteric, which will neutralize both an acid and a base.